season. I had an interesting question uh, just the other day from someone that was watching my channel and uh, I had been playing a Seymour Duncan uh, George Lynch model humbucker, the hunter and they had asked me to compare one of Joe Satriani's new DiMarzio pickups to it. Well since I don't have that on hand I thought I would try something with what I do have on hand. Um, this is a Joe Satriani JS-1200. This is an older, but one of his very nice to me. One of, I think this is something that really represented Joe Satriani all the way up through the 2000s. Um, this is a, a, a basswood body, and he's taken the Strat profile and done marvelous things with it. I mean, this body is contoured everywhere, all the way around each side. Uh, the back of it is super... Reminiscent of kind of a you know the G, the Japanese ESP style, in a way. I mean, this is a Japanese-made guitar. Um, this has the Edge Pro Tremolo, which is Floyd Rose more or less, just an Ibanez style. What I do like about this, as opposed to his newer guitars, is this has got a quarter sawn maple neck with the rosewood fretboard uh, with 22 frets. I just love 22 frets. I don't care for 24 frets. That's just me. You know, I, I got brought up playing on 21 and 22 fret guitars. Um, matching headstock. Yay, Joe. I love it. I love matching headstock. Beautiful guitar. Very light. This is a basswood body. Everything fits perfect. It's got uh, the, the pot where you can pull them up and get a single coily type sound. I usually just love the humbucker. This has got... A Joe and a Fred pickup in it. I don't know which one is which, honestly. I don't. I just, when I bought the guitar, I was really into a lot of stuff that Joe was doing. Um, I just loved the sound he was getting out of. But the question at hand was how DiMarzio pickups would compare to a Seymour Duncan pickup. Now, sound is very much in the ear of the individual, it's what you're wanting to get. It's, uh, you know, it's it's not something you can say this one is better than that one. You know, I may like this better than I like that, but still, I mean, this, the two DiMarzios, and I'm a bigger Seymour Duncan fan, but I like this guitar. To me, this guitar is kind of a heavy Hendrix sound, meaning that it's not overly heavy, even though you can still get some you know, some really good... <laughs> you, know, you can get some really heavy sounds out of it if you want to, if you crank it up, and I'm just using a little bitty practice amp. And it's got some really good bite as far as... Edge 
Tremola is totally different from what I'm used to in that you just drop it in there. I mean, literally, it just has two little bitty plastic pieces on here, and you just drop it down in there. So it's a little wiggly. Um, but once again, that's just me used to using older Floyds. Um, but that's a, a quick look at the Joe Satriani JS1200. Now we're going to take a look at something sort of comparable. Noise. Okay. Sorry about the noise. Now this right here is going to be a totally different guitar. They're going to look a little bit alike and that's about all. This is one of my main guitars uh, when I do recordings and things of that sort. This is a, um, a reissue replica of a 1978 Charvel. Uh, all the way down to the little string tree, the old Charvel emblem. This was done at the now Fender, but the Charvel custom shop. A lot of weight difference. This is a solid one piece bird's eye maple. I don't know how well you can see it in that body with the bird's eye maple neck. Um, this has a simple one humbucker, one volume knob, the old um, German Floyd Rose. Uh, it's This is a pretty heavy guitar. You have to get used to playing it. It's comfortable. Once again, you know, it's got your regular Strat contours. It does have the squared off um, neck heel, but it does have a quarter saw neck and it comes pretty far down here, so you're not going to have a problem getting where you want to. This has got a Seymour Duncan pickup that's been around for a long time. This is a JB, Jeff Beck. Um, I have had JBs in a lot of different woods and in a lot of different guitars. They sound totally different in different guitars as with any pickup. Now I'm going to play pretty much the same thing I did with that on this guitar and you just listen to the difference. Here we go. This is all in just a... <laughs> combination of you know quarter sawn maple neck into quarter sawn maple body is pretty much sustained forever and that's even with a Floyd Rose on there so that has a lot to say with how a guitar is built. Um, I actually bought this from the owner of Music Zoo in New York. He had the original 78 Charvel and I don't remember I think he had four copies made and, and I bought this. Um, and price-wise, these, the Joe Satriani JS-1200 and this guitar, 
are comparable in price. They're very different guitars as far as how they're made. I think they both have extremely good sound quality, extremely good playing quality. Um, the radiuses on the neck are about the same. They're both um, a, a 10 to 12 neck radius. They get a little bit flatter down here. Um, they went to a lot of detail in you know the string tree. They put the gold dot inlays on top. They put the wood inlay dots. I mean, this is they went to a whole lot of trouble to get this to look like an old Charvel, and it's just really got a lot of. tone out of it. So DiMarjo versus Seymour Duncan, both companies have a very wide range of pickups. To me, Seymour Duncan's have a little more bite to them. Um, I've played Evolutions, I've played um, Tone Pros, I've played uh, Norton, I've played a couple, you know, I've put in a couple of different DiMarjos in uh, guitars that I've built. And I've actually gone back and put Duncans in them of some sort, depending on the guitar. So for me and my ears, I think you get a little more, you know, bite, even out of just a... Um, but there, there you go. That's kind of a look at the two of those. I hope it kind of answers questions that I got. Um, it's not the exact answers, but it is to me a neat uh, uh, cross between two really good brand of guitars and pickups, two really good builds, two comfortable and two fun guitars. So um, y'all let me know what you think about them out there and definitely tr try out Charvels and Ibanez if you're into rocking guitars because they're great machines and they're usually always very well made. Happy holidays to everyone. Peace out, keep playing, having a good time while you're doing it. Gary T.